Hello, this is Nyango with another tutorial. In this tutorial we'll, we'll be printing messages on the screen, making them appear and disappear. I'm going to use this game called Editor Manager to make a demonstration of it. Okay, let's begin with uh, making the widget. Uh, let's call it UW Log Message. Alright. Log Message. We go to it and we place a text. Let's place the, an the anchor in the middle. Okay. And let's ch change the name to text. Well, lock text. Lock text. Let's make it a variable to true. And Let's save. Alright, we got this part on. Let's make it is a... Oh, this one is a... Bar oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, let's go to... To the, ma to, to the main... To the main hood. Our main hood widget. Alright, uh, let's play a scroll list, and a scroll box. Alright. Let's position it over here. Okay. Uh, let's make it a, let's make it a barbell and call it log SL. Logs, log SL. Alright. Alright, now that we've got this, well, let's make a reminder. Uh, I'm using this widget, the main widget. For you, it would be something different. It would be a new brand widget and all that, all that depends on the context. Okay. Uh, now, let's make a function. Uh, we'll call it... Add log message. All right. Uh, let's add the inputs. We'll, we'll add a string and a flute. The string will be called text. It will be the uh, text of putting on the uh, log message and the uh, float. Uh, the uh, duration it will last our message on the screen all right now that we're done we're, we're going to make it happen uh, uh let's create a widget create widget and we'll call it and we'll add a um, log message all right let's add this on the screen i on on the uh, node Okay, um, and now let's add the text and w on the log text, let's get it and let's set text. And we're going to set, set this text. Okay, and now for the duration, let's make a new function in, in our log message. We'll call it We'll call it uh, delete delete message. That simple. And remove from parent. Let's we'll call remove from parent from on it. It will destroy the message basically. In other words, okay. Uh, now let's make a timer. Uh, let's cut on the log message. All right, and we'll we'll call the function delete message. All right, and we'll call it one the duration. Okay. Well, now that we've got the uh, function, well, 
Well, I need to compile. Okay, it's fine. Now that we got the function, we'll have to test it out. The best way is to go to our player controller and add a new input. So let's type input and let's go to the keys. Uh, let's use, let's use, let's use. Hmm. I would use the M. Let's set for input M. Okay, here we go. It's here. Okay, now that we got this, let's. Uh, let's. Uh, <coughs> let's call the function. So, uh, we will get our main hood widget, and for this, I got it living on my hat, so I'll get hat. Uh, and I'll convert to poor. Uh, And I'm going to get the uh, main main hood with it, okay. And we're going to get the uh, add log message. We're going to call this, okay. Every time we call this, we will input hello world. Four, ten sec, no, five seconds. Okay, and we forgot something. We have to go here, uh, and uh, get our scroll, our log SL, a local cell, then add a child. And let's add this child, which is the log message. Okay, so uh, having all of this, we're going. Well, we're going to print print a, a message just in case it doesn't work, and so we see the difference. Uh, let's call it from player controller pressing and in so we make sure the input works. Okay. Uh, now we got this. We just need to try it out. Let's load our game map. to save okay uh, let's play and we're going to you will see the message working we have our lock message thing and they disappear and get in. and this is how to make a log message system, a messaging system. Thanks. Well, uh, you can make it better, like change the phone, uh, you can uh, make it an animation to turn in invisible and visible uh, with, you know, with the alpha thing, and a lot more. Well, 
Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Uh, I'll be making more tutorials, I hope. In when I can. Well, see ya.